Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining us here this morning as we begin our day with morning prayer. Today is Friday the 13th of October. My name is Martina and I come to you today from Kairos Community Trust in South East London. So please, let us begin. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. When evil darkens our world, give us light. When despair numbs our soul, give us hope. When we stumble and fall, lift us up. When doubts assail us, give us faith. When nothing seems sure, give us trust. When ideals fade, give us vision. When we lose our way, be our guide. That we may find serenity in your presence and purpose and in doing your will, O Lord. Amen. So today's reading is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke 11, 15 to 26. When Jesus had cast out a devil, some of the people said, It is through Beelzebul, the prince of devils, that he casts out devils. Others asked Jesus as a test for a sign from heaven. But knowing what they were thinking, he said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is heading for ruin and a household divided against itself collapses. So too with Satan, if he is divided against himself, how can his kingdom stand? Since you assert that it is through Beelzebul that I cast out devils. Now, if it is through Beelzebul that I cast out devils, through whom do your own experts cast them out? Let them be your judges. Then, but it is through the finger of God that I cast out devils then know that the kingdom of God has overtaken you. So long as a strong man fully armed guards his own palace, his goods are undisturbed. But when someone stronger than he is attacks and defeats him, the stronger man takes away all the weapons he relied on and shares out his spoils. He who is not with me is against me, and he who does not gather with me scatters. When an unclean spirit goes out of a man, it wanders through waterless country, looking for a place to rest. Not finding one, it says, I will go back to the home I came from. But on arrival, finding it swept and tidied, it then goes off and brings seven other spirits, more wicked than itself, and they go on and set up house there, so that the man ends up by being worse than he was before. This is the Gospel of the Lord. So today's Gospel has really reminded me of my own journey back into faith and, and the struggles I faced along the way, as many do. Before coming into Kairos Community Trust, I, I was quite lost and my faith had gone, my spirit felt damaged and broken. And it was like that internal um, battle it, sp it spoke of, of being divided. And um, I really found it's been a journey. I came to London confused and really as a last resort. But whilst in Kairos and the fellowships of AA, um, it's been a, a real help for me. With not just a part of remaining abstinent and staying sober, but the biggest gift was a rekindlement of a beautiful relationship, and that's one with God today. Turning my will over to God each morning before I do anything else in my day averts a devil from settling back in and finding that familiar old place. It no longer has a resting place within me. Now in the fellowship, we talk about the great big hole and the void, the hole in the soul. Today, I realise, especially when I look at today's reading, that this was where the devil was residing within me during my years of being without God in my life. Now, each morning, I have that relationship with God and thank him for the beautiful day that lies ahead of me. I know during these dark times with each and every one of us can have, these are just days that we have been tested. But I know God was with me throughout all of it. There are many times when... I felt alone 
and I could have been in situations that were not good for me but God always was there and he always made sure I didn't get into too much um, too much bad situations that I couldn't get out of. So today I invite you to ask and ponder over the question of how is my relationship with God today? Do I trust? Do I hear him? And do I feel him here? God is love and he really is all around us today. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I wish you all a peaceful and prosperous day. Mary Immaculate, pray for us. Saint Eugene, pray for us. Lord, pray for us.